not count and you may still be charged. This is criminal barrister Robert Rinder. He spent his career fighting for justice. Now he's ready to rule in ITV's court. Did you ask Vincent to borrow £400? Basically... It's amazing. You may not have English as a first language, but everybody knows basically and obviously. Basically? Obviously. <laughs> now I want everything. I want the petrol, the parking, because I'm upset. You have to do this in English. You could speak in French, but I don't think that'd be enjoyable for the British public. To the bien para mañana. Now that's the truth in every language when somebody owes somebody money. What's the word? Mañana. Meaning? Tomorrow. Tomorrow! Vincent is in court to claim back £446 from his former friend for an outstanding loan plus the cost of driving him to the airport. Defendant Carlos says there was no deadline attached to the loan and he disputes the amount owed as he says the lift to the airport was a favour. Vincent. Yes? Oui, monsieur. Yes. It's a sumer in England for now. Oh, sorry. Vincent. Yes? Yes. Splendid. And Carlo. Carlos, yes. Carlos. So, this is a case, Vincent, that you've brought against your friend Carlos. And in effect, what you say is you lent Carlos some money to go to Argentina. You're from Argentina originally. Yes, I am. And that was for a holiday for you and your girlfriend. Yes. Now, just to be clear, you say you lent that money and he understood he had to pay it to you back. But in addition to that, he also asked you to drive to the airport. You want that money back as well as the parking you paid, correct? Yes. Carlos, um, your first language is Spanish? Yes. And your first language is Spanish as well? No, no, no. French. Ah, bon. Well, si. Toi aussi? Yes, we're going to conduct this in English now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Est-ce qu'il y a un problème? Tout va bien, merci beaucoup. Oui, c'est bon. Moi, tu parles bien français. Oui, je sais. Hein. <laughs> <laughs> Dis donc. Alors. Zut alors. Zut alors. Sacre bleu. <laughs> now, when you lent Carlos the money, you yes. say, what was your job at the time? What did you do? I'm a football referee. You're a football referee? Yes. A professional one? I would say semi-professional. This is my job in London. You get paid for it? Yeah, yes. Well, then you're professional. Yeah. You make a decent living, right, but you work, and £400 means a lot of money to you. That's the point. Yes. You don't have £400 lying around. No. Etc. That's important for me to understand. Yes. OK. Now, how long had you been friends with Carlos before you handed over £400? One year and a half, two years. Carlos. What sort of friend was Vincent? He was a good friend? Yes. We, we met each other at my work. Um, we started, suddenly he started to speak in Spanish, which I was You speak surprised. Spanish as well as French? Yeah, I speak four languages. Very good. Mm. <laughs> Moi aussi. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. Mm -hmm. And you liked him, you became friends, and as a result of what he said to you, you decided to lend him some money. Now, um, Carlos, you were going back to Argentina, you were going to go travelling with a girlfriend. Was this an Argentinian girlfriend? No. No, no, no. This was the first time she was visiting. Yes. So you wanted to show her a good time and make sure she saw the best part of Argentina. Argentina is very much a first world country and certainly very beautiful. Mm -hmm. And that's not cheap. It's cheaper than here, but it's not cheap. Now, there came a time which you asked to borrow money from Vincent, correct? Yes. Let's just look at the principal loan, £400. Did you ask Vincent to borrow £400? Yes. I and did. what did you say to him when you went and asked him to borrow that money? Basically, what they say It's to amazing. Me. You may not have English as a first language, but everybody knows basically and obviously. <laughs> basically? Obviously. I will. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, bravo. So, <laughs> 
So, uh, yes, I needed the money. I asked him if he can borrow me some money. I said, yeah, I, well, that was for, for the flight. And did you give him that money? In cash or in a cheque? In cash. In cash. You took the money in cash, correct? In cash, yeah. So yes. far, so good. Now, when Vincent gave you that money, when did you think you had to pay him back? Um, we didn't talk about that sort of chain. Date. There was, there was no specified period, but you knew you had to give it back when, he, when you got back from your trip. Tell me about your trip to Argentina very quickly. Don't tell me all of the details. <laughs> yeah, yeah um, basically we flew to Buenos Aires, um, spent a couple of days there, and then when I went to the north where I'm from. Okay. The... That's... <laughs> mm. Yeah, that was... <laughs> <laughs> I think he's naked. Buenos Aires, um, yeah, basically there's many places to visit, so... Mm. Um, there's a picture of you with no clothes on and a splendid pyramid. <laughs> yeah. That's the obelisk in Buenos Aires. It's an obelisk. Yes, I see. And you had a good time. And did you, were you careful with money when you were out there? Or did you, as it were, blow it with your girlfriend in order to show her the best time you possibly could? I mean, um, basically, I knew that it's not a trip that you make every day. So and I wanted her to have a good experience and to to enjoy as much as possible. And she had a good time. There she is. There's the two of you. That's a lovely picture. Are you still together? Uh, yes. That's a happy relief. You got back. £400 was owing to Vincent. Why didn't you pay it to him? Pardon? Why didn't you pay? Everything you understand, apart from why didn't you pay him back? <laughs> <laughs> you... What's, what are you doing? I'm looking at you. I see. <laughs> <laughs> Coming next. You write, ja, 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 ja. <laughs> <laughs> you mean yes, several times. <laughs> That's you getting annoyed. Occasionally, People come along who are not content with simply moving things along. They want to take things further. Bored by reinvention of the superficial kind, their goal isn't to improve on what has been done before, but to totally reimagine it. This is my mum. Hi. Wow. How old was your mum when she had you? Twelve? Nivea Cellular Anti-Age with Hyaluronic Acid. Stimulates surface cell renewal, reduces appearance of wrinkles, and increases firmness and elasticity for beautiful younger looking skin. I like her already. Nivea Cellular Anti-Age. And now, two for £20 on the Nivea Cellular Anti-Age range at Boots. Find your place in the sunshine and get summer started at Sainsbury's. I don't care whose fault it is, fix it. Mm, what a lovely latte. You know the stampede for the best seats? Well, it's gone the way of the dinosaur. Everyone gets allocated a seat on EasyJet. Vincent is in court to claim back £446 from his former friend for an outstanding loan, plus the cost of driving him to the airport. Defendant Carlos says there was no deadline attached to the loan, and he disputes the amount owed, as he says the lift to the airport was a favour. 
Why didn't you pay him back when you came back? When I came back, first I spent a little bit more than I expected. And I found myself that I had to use a little bit more of a... Well, that's OK, because you telephoned Vincent and you said, you've lent me £400, this is a week's wages to you. You knew it meant a lot of money to him. It's going to take me a little time to pay you back. You contacted him straight away, correct? Is that correct? How did you find out Carlos was back from his holiday? I knew because I brought him to the airport. So he told me I'm coming back on the 9 or 10, 9, I think it's 9. So you drove to the airport to collect him? Yes. Is that right? Picked you up from the airport? Yes. Now, before you picked him up from the airport, did you say, now listen, Carlos, on the phone call, if I'm going to collect you from the airport, it's going to cost you some money. You're going to have to pay me to collect you. To be honest, no, I didn't. Of course not. You must have thought that's rather annoying. He owes me £400. Now I've had to pay for petrol and also for parking to come and collect because him. Because it's getting too long now. Okay. More than after one month, I still have my money. So now I want everything. I want the petrol, the parking, because I'm upset. I understand. How long did you leave it before asking Carlos for the money? It was when he invited me for dinner, when he asked me the money. And he said to me, I'm going to pay you straight, ahead, uh, straight after my, my trip. Did he collect you from the airport or did he take you to the airport? He took me to the airport. Right. That's the point. <laughs> <laughs> Just to be clear, we're confused. Yes. We have to do this in English. Yes. If you prefer, I could speak in French, but I don't think that would be enjoyable for the British public. Yes, I think so. Yes, oh. They don't speak in French. <laughs> You dropped Carlos off at the airport. Exactly. And you um, it took him from Greenwich and you paid for parking. And you'd also lent him the £400. Exactly. So, Carlos, how long after you returned did you get in touch with Vincent? Um, a couple of days after. I just... Um, I think I called him or I sent a text and I said, Yeah, man, I go back. I need to tell you about this trip. It was amazing. Um, yeah, I wanted just to... Now, I've got some text messages which have been provided, and these are provided by you. Yeah. You speak Spanish. These are in Spanish, not in French. Yeah. It's like the United Nations in here. Let's just have a quick look. OK. Now, you're in green. Is that right, Vincent? That's you speaking yes. in green. Yeah. No soy un charity. I am not a charity, yes. correct? And I want my £400. Can you say the rest, please? Charity, you question? I gave you, I lent you 500 pounds and I don't know when you are, giving, you are going to give it back to me and now you ask me to drop you off to the airport. Now in reply, <laughs> you write, ja, 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 ja. <laughs> <laughs> you mean yes, several times. <laughs> That's you getting annoyed. That means yeah, 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 right? Gracias, amigo. Thank you, friend. And sos de fiero. You're a, good, you're a good friend. You're a good friend? Yeah. That's what it says. He lent you the money. You're a good friend. And then it says, Papi, todo bien para mañana. Now, so that's the truth in every language when somebody owes somebody money. It's the universal language. What's the word? Mañana. Mañana. Meaning? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Can I pay you tomorrow? Is it good for tomorrow, right? So that's OK, because that's the 4th of January on a Sunday. On the Monday, you went round the £400, correct? No. No? <laughs> no? Royamani nil point? Now, this is before you go away. Exactly, now, yeah. in this instance, he's, he's asking for the money before you even go on holiday. Why would he be asking for the money I before mean, you go away? He was a little bit um, sarcastic, saying, I'm not a charity. And what he's demonstrating in this text message... What he's saying is... I understand. This is before the trip. Yes. And this is him explaining to you, just so you know, hmm. I'm not a charity, you're going to have to pay me back. And you've provided this as evidence to demonstrate the fact that this was a loan and not a gift. But there's another lot of text messages, if we could pull them up, which are... Later on, I think. These are the important ones. And this is you in green after you return. This is the 12th of February. Hello, Carlos. I've seen on Facebook and from your photos in Argentina, and I've had no news. Now I want my £400, correct? I also want the money for gasoline and the £6 for parking. Thank you. Is that about right? No. Oh, what did I get wrong? You said, I also want. I said, 
I, did, I didn't count you the morning. I didn't I, count. I understand. Yeah. Forgive me, dude. I still... I don't have it still. That's right? What does the last yes. part say? Yes, and I want you to give me a, a little more bit time. more of time, yes. Right, so that's okay. How long did it take for you to give him the money? I didn't give, uh, give it back yet. Why not? Um, I have some issues. Um, my girlfriend lost her job and I found myself in a situation that I spent more money that, that I expected. Um, you had a good holiday. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I, need, I didn't know at the time that my girlfriend would lost the, the job, I'm, so I'm still trying to, to collect the money, just to give it back, but it's taking me more time. What about that coming to an arrangement? Like, what about coming to an arrangement, Vincent? Five pounds a week, ten pounds? We'd take, I don't know, a hundred pounds a month until he pays it back. Would you accept that? No, because the thing is, my situation changed also from the first of uh, February. My do my, I've got a daughter. My daughter was born the 1st of February. Oh, congratulations. Thank you very much. Merci. And my girlfriend is getting maternity leaves now. It's less money, much less. So this money is important to the two of you? Of course. I understand. OK. Vincent, when you lend money to a friend, yeah. you have to be very, very careful. Because most of the time, when you give money to a friend, the court doesn't consider there to be a contract between the two of you. If every time a friend gave another friend money and they went to court when the friend didn't pay the money back, the courts would be far too busy. You understand? They do. In this instance, however, it's clear to me, based upon what Carlos has said to me and the text messages that you have and the way you've presented in court and what you've told me, that I'm satisfied in this instance, there clearly was an arrangement that you would lend Carlos the money and he would give you the money back. That was for the £400. And so to that extent, you're awarded the £400. You cannot retrospectively make a contract. In other words, you can't say, I'm very annoyed with you for not paying back the £400. So now, even after I've driven you to the airport, I'm going to charge you for the cost of the petrol to the airport and the cost of parking. You can only come to an agreement at the time. Had you said to Carlos it's going to cost you for me to drive you to the airport and you're going to have to pay my parking at the time, I might have awarded you that money, although I probably wouldn't have done. You understand? Because there would be no contract. Yes. The contract you had was for £400. I'm satisfied there was a contract. Carlos agrees with me. So to that extent, this court awards you £400. And I wish you bon chance. Merci. And the same to you. That's the award of this court, £400. Thank you. Vincent was awarded £400 of his claim. Let's find out how both parties felt about their day in court. I'm happy the judge gave me my money. Of course, I would have expected, like, uh, 446 pounds, everything, but this is what I understand, that we didn't agree with the 46 pounds. I knew that uh, I owned him some, some money, but I didn't... I think it was unnecessary to, to, to take it to this stage. I lent you 400 pounds, and I don't know when you are, giving, you are going to give it back to me, and now you ask me to drop you off to the airport. I've got my situation, I've got a baby, I've got a young family. That's why um, I was begging you the money. That's why. I totally understand. How long did you leave it before asking Carlos for the money? It was when he invited me for dinner, when he asked me the money, and he said to me, I'm going to pay you straight, ahead, uh, straight after my, my trip. I would like to have a little bit more conversation. We have to place, talk, of course. It, yes. Uh, but I I'm, not, I'm not nasty, I don't want to... The life, the life is short to, to spend the time to, to, to get angry every time. Even if you think he's, it's a good friend, never lend, never lend money because the money can break a relation. The money is very it's bad. I know him better now. And we have a good relation. We always have fun. Um, he's, he's a good person. I, I, I feel um, I appreciate him. 